Solve for x. Put answers in hundreds place only when it's necessary. So here you want to solve for x. That's our main goal. So 4 over 12 equals sine x over 36. So this is how you're going to write it. 4 over 12 then equals sine x over 36. First step, you want to find out where is, where is this x. So you want to cross multiply. 12 times x is 12x. 36 times 4 is 144. Okay? So to get x by itself, you have to divide it by that number next to the x. So, so we're going to divide that by 12. If you do it in this side, you have to do it on this side. So you cross that out, you're left with x, and then your answer here is 12. Okay, same concept here. 10 over x, 35 over 45. Cross multiply, cross multiply. 35 times x is 35x. And then um, 45 times 10 is 450. And to get x by itself, you have to divide it by that number next to the x. If you do it on this side, you have to do it on this side. So this is x. So 450, how many times is 35 going to 450? Um, the answer here is going to be 12.857. But I want you to place your answers in hundreds place. Okay? Um, so here, this is tens place, hundreds place, and thousands place. So this neighboring 7 is going to determine if 5 is going to be a 6 or remains a 5. So the answer here is 12.86 because um, if from 6 to 9, if this number is from 6 to 9, it increase increase this hundreds place by one number. Okay? So that's why the answer here is 12.86. So same concept here. 15 over 10, 16 over x. Find out where x is. 15 times x is 15x. 10 times 16 is 160. We have to get x by itself. We're going to divide it by 15. If I do it here, I have to do it here. So x is equals to 160. How many times does 15 go into 160? Is 10.666. So the answer here would be 10.67.